All right, guys, welcome back. In this video, we'll be starting with building our very first keylogger. How excited are you? Because I'm really excited. We'll be learning a lot of cool things in this section. So the first thing we are going to do is actually create a new project by going to file new project. And I'm just going to call it Pi key because Python keylogger and that's why Pi and then keylogger of the key. And then I'm just going to choose the Python 3.6 version that I've installed on my system. If you have a later version of Python, don't worry about it. As long as the Python version is above three, you don't really have to worry about it. For Python two and above, I really haven't tried them out. So you can try them out if you want, but I'll highly recommend that you have a version that is above three. The next thing we are going to do is just click on create to create our project. I want to open it in our current window and that's it. We have created our Python keylogger project. A pretty good start, huh? Anyways, the next thing we are going to do is create a new Python file by going to new and then Python file and then name of the Python file. I'm just going to call it main because we are making a keylogger and we need a file. So you can call it whatever you want because we are just going to be creating one file. So you can call it smart keylogger or anything that you want. I'm just going to call it main for this video. I'm just going to click on OK, which will create the main dot Python file for us. Now, before we go further ahead with this video, let's understand what do we actually want the keylogger to do. What we want is that whenever a key is pressed on the keyboard, it should take that key and store it in a text file. So for example, if the letter K is pressed, it would take that letter and store it in a new text file. And that is why we are going to be learning about file handling using Python in this video. So we'll be learning how to read from a file, how to write to a file, and if something is already written, how to append something to that file. All these three things come under the term file handling. So let's get started by learning how to write to a file in Python. To write to a file in Python, we use a function called as open. Now, as you can see, open requires some parameters. The first parameter is called the name and the second parameter is called the mode. Now, the first parameter, the name, basically means the name of the file. So for example, let's say we already have a file in our PyKey folder or PyKey project named as log.txt and it will just write to that file. But if that file doesn't exist, then this open function is going to create that new file. So let's input the first parameter. The first parameter we'll call log.txt. Text is basically the file extension of a text file and we can name it whatever we want, but just because we are logging the keystrokes, I'm just going to call it log.txt. And this is the first parameter of the open function. Then the second parameter is called the mode of the open function. Now, what is the mode? So now the mode is of three types. First mode is of reading, that is R, and then the writing mode, that is the W, and then the append mode, that is, for example, let's say something is already written in a text file and you want to add something to that text file, then we have to use the append mode. Let me actually just write a comment that basically tells you which mode is for what purpose. So the mode R is for reading, the mode W is for writing, and the mode A is for appending, appending to a file. So this mode of R, W, and A, we just have to put as a second parameter. So right now we are writing to a file. So we are just going to put in W because this is the mode that we want. And then we are going to save the instant of this open function in a variable. Let's call it F because we are doing file handling. So I'm just calling it the variable F. Now, whenever we need to refer to this file of log.txt, we can just refer to this variable of F because we have saved the instance of this log.txt file in the variable of f. So for right now, we need to write to this log.txt file. So what we can do is use the function of write and we are going to use the variable f to write to a file. So we'll just type in f.write and then inside this, we can write whatever we want and this information is going to be stored in the log.txt file. So let's write I am freaking awesome because let's be honest, we all are. And then I'm just going to close this file. So why is closing the file important? So whenever you open up a file, it allocates some resources in the computer system. And whenever we close this file, it releases those resources and the memory from the system. If you don't close the file, it can sometimes give you some kind of errors. So it's always a good programming habit 
to close the file after you have opened up the file. So this is pretty much it. Let's run the file and see if a new log.txt file is created with the text I am freaking awesome. So for that I'm just going to right click over here and then we are going to click on run main. And now if you wait for some time, the new file, the log.txt will be created. And if you open it up, it will say, I am freaking awesome, which is pretty cool. huh? So we have completed the first writing mode. And then let's say, what if we want to read this file? Now that we have created this log.txt file, let's actually read this file. So for that, we are going to use the R mode. So let's just write R over here. And then instead of f.write, what we are going to do, let me actually just comment this out. And to read this file, we are just going to write f.read and then we are going to save this in a variable. Let's call it file data. And then we are just going to print this out so that we know that our f.read function is working. So let's print out the file data and that's it. Let's right click over here, click on run main. And as you can see in the console, it is printing, I am freaking awesome. Now the difference between the appending, let me actually change the spelling of appending. Somehow I seem to have misspelled it. But anyways, now that we have completed the first two modes, that is the reading mode and the writing mode, let's go to the appending mode. But before that, let's understand what is the difference between the writing mode and the appending mode. Whenever you use the writing mode, so for example, let me just change it to the writing mode again. So whenever you use the writing mode, it's going to rewrite the file again and again. So this, whenever we write to a file, for example, log.txt, and if I change this to, let's say, a hello world, hello world, and if we run this file again, the I am freaking awesome will be removed and hello world will be added. But what if we wanted to add this hello world to I am freaking awesome text? That is where the append mode comes in. To append to a file, we just use the function a, and that's pretty much it. We can append whatever we want to a file and we don't have to change anything else from the writing mode. So for now, for example, right now we have this hello world in a log.txt file. So if we run this main program again and go back to our log.txt file, as you can see, another hello world has been added. And now let's change this to something else. Um, let's call it I am God because we have God complex and that's why Anyways, let's run it again. And if you go back to our log.txt, as you can see, it prints hello world, hello world, and then I am God. Now, what if in appending mode, you want to go to a new line? So what you can do is you can just put a backslash in, and that is going to get you to a new line. So let's run the main file again. And as you can see, it went to the new line and, but it went to the new line after printing, I am caught. What if you wanted to go to a new line before that? So you can just use this thing. If you want to go to a new line before that, and let's change this to something else. Let's call it hello again. And let's run this main.py file. And as you can see it before even printing this, it goes to a new line. Now in a keylogger, we won't be using the reading mode or the writing mode because we don't need both of them. And why we don't use the writing mode is because every time a user or our victim presses a new keystroke on his keyboard, we don't want this log.txt file to be created again and again. But what we want is that whenever he presses a keystroke, for example, let's say A, and whenever he presses the next keystroke, that is the B, we want this to be appended to the A log.txt file. So that is why we'll be only using the appending to a file piece of mode and not the other two modes. Now before ending this video, let me just format all of this properly. We don't need all these comments. So let me just remove that. We don't need this file data and everything. And we don't need all these comments. So this is pretty much it for this video. In the next video, we are going to be learning the use of the with keyword that is WIH, the with keyword in Python. So I'll see you in the next video.